we have two curves, R1 of t equals 1 plus t, t, t cubed, and R2 of t equals cosine t, sine t, t squared. They intersect the point 1, 0, 0. Find the angle of intersection at that point. Now, we need to do a few things before we get to our answer. So first observation is, if I want to get the point 1, 0, 0 for either of my curves, we can get it by putting in t equals 0. So in general, we might not have okay, 1, 0, 0 coming out for the same parameter. Okay, just a coincidence here, but it makes our work a lot easier. Next, if I want the angle of intersection, we're going to need to know about the tangent directions of our curves at our point. So we'll get those by taking the derivative of our functions and then just putting in t equals 0. Okay, from there, we're going to take the dot product and then we'll see how the dot product gives us the angle. So let's do some work. So I take my derivative of r1, what do we get? We're going to have 1, 1, okay, and then 3t squared. We put t equals 0 into there, so we're going to get the direction 1, 1, 0. I'll call that u. For r2, take the derivative, I get minus sine, cosine, 2t. We put 0 into there, I get the vector 0, 1, 0. I'll call that v. Now, to get our angle, we're going to take the dot product. So that's going to be, okay, we're multiplying like coordinates. So I'll get 0, 1, and 0, and then sum. So the dot's going to be equal to 1. We also have another interpretation of dot product. That's going to be, it's going to be length of u times length of v times cosine theta. So that's where our angle is going to come into the picture. So the length of u, we're going to get 1 squared, 1 squared, 0 squared, sum them, square root. So that'll be a square root of 2. And then the length of v is going to be, okay, so square, 0 squared, 1 squared, 0 squared, sum them, square root, we get a 1. So cosine theta is just going to be equal to our dot divided by the lengths. So I have a 1 over square root of 2. I multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. That gives me square root of 2 over 2. So our angle is going to be 45 degrees. Now, the angle that comes out of your dot product, it's going to be between 0 and pi. So if it has the positive sign, it's got to be in the first quadrant. So definitely a pi fourths.